Alright, I put this off long enough. Time to talk about that Dr. Stone ending because goddamn, the more I think about it, the more it really just bugs the hell out of me. So yeah, big spoilers for the ending of the Dr. Stone manga. Get out before you're forced to rush to the comments to complain about spoilers. Oh, and you know the deal. Like, subscribe, comment, I have a Patreon, yada yada, all the good stuff, video time. It really is just an unsatisfying climax to the story, which sucks because I think I see what it's going for. On paper, the whole twist with the Medusas isn't bad. It makes complete sense. There's good foreshadowing. It works. It's also thematically resonant and technically works for the message the story is trying to tell. But that's the thing about themes and messages. If that's all you're trying to do, then just write an essay. This is a story with characters and narrative tension, and in those terms, the twist is fucking awful. Aside from getting a message across, it doesn't really accomplish anything. And I think that becomes apparent when we compare this arc to previous major arcs. You have the Stone Wars arc, a huge tactical battle against Tsukasa, the Treasure Island arc where they have to figure out how to fight someone who uses a Medusa. And I'm not a big fan of the arc where Dr. Zeno is introduced, but it has a lot of cool moments. And it's definitely a formula that these arcs follow, but it's a formula that works. We have an enemy to face with a specific aspect or two that makes them a new kind of threat. Senku has to be both the quick thinker and the planner to lead everyone to victory, but it's ultimately a collaborative effort as everyone contributes their own unique skills, with new characters being introduced for that purpose. In the end, they win the day because they outsmarted their enemy. It's a pretty simple formula, but it's consistently exciting and has worked to make some genuinely tense arcs. But this twist makes it so that really isn't possible. You can't outsmart the Medusa, you can't counter it. They don't even understand how it works, and that'd be fine if we got something that's different and good, but that's unfortunately not the case, because at the end of the day, it's anticlimactic and unsatisfying. Like I said, a big strength of these arcs is how all these people contribute in some way, with Senku tying it all together. Instead of that, we spend almost 20 chapters, which is around 5 months in real time by the way, building up to this big trip to the moon. Oh, Oh, who's gonna get to go? I'm glad we're having these really nice chapters and interactions surrounding this plot point. I can't wait to see where it goes. All for them to get there and have Senku do everything. Like, I'm glad Chrome, Suika, and Ryusui all have their times to shine before the moon landing, but once they get there, it's kinda nothing. They basically arrive on the moon, get a lore dump, Senku has a conversation, and then the final antagonist just leaves. Again, it's all thematically resonant and logically consistent, but it's just boring. There was a big deal about Kohaku going instead of Tsukasa, but really it wouldn't have mattered who went because their presence didn't matter. If Tsukasa had gone instead, that probably wouldn't have changed anything meaningful. And I really don't know what else I can say, it's a lame ending. It focuses so hard on the plot twist and the message it's trying to say that it just forgets to tell a compelling story in the end. Oh, and don't even get me started on the time travel, what the fuck?